Hi, this is Kokilavani from Department of Costume Design and Patient at Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. Now I'm going to deliver about European traditional costume of Germany. Lederhosen. Lederhosen is a leather pant. They may be either shorter knee or length. The longer ones are generally called Bundoshan and knee Bundoshan. There is a widespread misconception that leather hosen are traditionally national costume in Germany speaking countries. They should rather be considered to be work wear or leisure wear for working class men. Why men wear leather hosen? Formerly, leather hosen were worn for hot physical work. They were more durable than the fabric garment and lay easier to clean. Today, they are mostly worn as leisure wear. Leather hosen today. According to the international magazines, European leather hosen still popular in Bavaria. Every shelf respecting man that is bound to have a shorter leather pants. The leather hosen's hat with feathers. So, leather hosen still popular in Germany and main wear in national holidays. Drindel. A drindel is a type of traditional dress worn in southern Germany, especially Bavaria based on the historical costume of Alpine Pizanat. Dresses that are loosely based on drindel as known as Langos mode. Description of drindel. The drindel consists of bodies, blouse, full skirt and apron, while appearing to the simple and plain, a probably made modern drindle may be quite expansive at its trailer or sometimes cut from costly and printed or silk fabric. In the South Germany, a drindle originally referred to a young woman or a girl. The drindle given to the dress, nowadays drindle may be equally referred to the either young woman or the dress. The winter style drindle has heavy, warm skirt and approach made of thick cotton, linen, velvet or wool. And the long sleeve, the color has usually rich and dark. The summer style in lighter and more revealing has short sleeves, so often made of lightweight cotton. Accessories may include a long apron ties around the waist, a waistcoat or wool shawl. In many regions, especially the Austro land, vibrantly colored hat printers, silk scarves, and silk apron are owned. As far as the jewelry is concerned, own often spot necklace, earring, and brooches made of silver, an antler deer, or even animal teeth. For colder weather, the heavy trindle coats is same cut as the dresses with high neck and front buttons, thick mittens and mid woolen. Trindle today. Trindle also still popular in Germany and women wear in holidays and festival. Moreover, trindle is popular only in Germany but in another country is also. Let's see about Poland. Men's coat. Men's costume. One of the oldest of 19th century, the main headdress was black felt hat called Kleinder. The Croco men also owned old caps made up of white wool, but the most famous headdress was red peaked the hat. After the side of cap is a long bunch of peacock feathers, red or colorful ribbon tie the hands hanging over the shoulder. The shirts can usually shown with white linen. Very rarely the vest adorned with white embroidery. Its only adornment has a red ribbon or silver pin with coral. The branches seen with fine linen or cotton were put into the shoe. Today's Poland's costume. Today, Polish traditionally costumes do not still popular, but Polish use costumes for traditional dances and for national holidays. Thank you.